Hello dear students, welcome to Eduhant video lecture series and we have discussed in the previous session about the various joints and axial skeleton, appendicular skeleton and what are the different parts of axial skeleton and how an appendicular skeleton forms and also uh, different joints that aid in locomotion and movement and also we have finished the uh, some of the uh, multiple choice questions that were given in student illustration and also in worksheet 1. Up to 20 bits we have finished in the previous session and now we are going to answer the remaining uh, multiple choice questions in this session. Okay, welcome back again. We'll start the session. The first question of this session is in nominate is it is nothing but a part of skeleton and an artery axis vertebra is identified by it is identified by the sigmoid notch of the vertebra and cranial bone related to ear is cranial bone related to ear is temporal bone because nasal which is related to the nose and frontal related to the forehead and occipital near to the eyes, temporal near the ears. So temporal is the correct answer. It is the cranial bone which is related to the ear, temporal. These facial bones are unpaired. These facial bones are unpaired. Lacrimal bones are paired so it is wrong answer nasal bones are paired so this is also wrong answer and here palatine is paired that is why it is wrong answer the correct option is warmer and mandible warmer and mandible are the bones which are in single in number which are single in number lacrimal nasal and palatine are two two bones they are paired bones of the facial bones how many facial bones are present exactly exactly so the facial bones these are two nasal two palatine two vomer one and one two plus two plus two six plus two six plus two eight these are paired that is why twelve plus two Okay, 12 plus 2, 14, totally 14 uh, facial bones and 8 cranial bones. All together they constitute 22 bones of the skull. It is an outcome of irregularities in metabolism of nitrogenous waste. The, if the nitrogenous waste that is uh, uric acid. nitrogenous waste is uric acid it should be excreted out periodically otherwise it causes gouty arthritis the uric acid in the form of crystals the deposit in the joints they form this they are responsible for this gouty arthritis they cause gouty arthritis uric acid there might be two reasons behind the excretion the excretory system may be damaged or sometimes uh, production of over uric acid because of that our kidneys may not be able to eliminate that periodically that is why it may get deposited in the bones like it forms uh, gouty arthritis disease causes gouty arthritis which of the following is correct for the given as assertion and reason one is assertion is knee joint is hinged type of joint and femur patella and fibula are associated with the knee joint yes knee joint is knee knee joint is a hinge type of joint we can move that only in a single direction and femur patella and fibula are associated with the knee joint yes they are associated femur that is the thigh bone patella is the kneecap and fibula uh, is the bone of the hind limb all these form the 
responsible the form responsible for the formation of knee joint they all a part of knee joint in human beings the cranium is formed by we have seen that there are eight bones of which two paired form the cranium yes which of the following is wrong statement about hyoid bone uh, to identify the wrong statement we should know the features of hyoid bone hyoid apparatus hyoid apparatus is a single one and it is u shaped structure u shaped bone and it is present at the base of the buccal cavity as well as it is not connected to any any bone in the body so these are the features just remember and it is one in number yes it is correct u shaped correct not attached with any other bone of the body exactly so the answer is present at the top of the buccal cavity is wrong because it is present at the base of the buccal cavity the clavicle articulates with dash of scapula it articulates with the acromion process of the scapula acromion process why not glenoid cavity so glenoid cavity is a cavity present in the cap scapula but that is articulated with the head of the humerus humerus that is the forelimb bone of the forelimb that forms a ball and socket joint with the scapula of the pectoral girdle which one is a flat bone among these scapula is the flat bone because patella is a knee cap it is cap like structure and carpal and tarsals these are present uh, in the fingers and even the palm palm or like a uh, uh, foot they are not flat they are like cylindrical structures largest mammalian vertebra is it is lumbar vertebra uh, we have seen seven uh, we have seen different vertebrae cervical vertebrae thoracic vertebrae lumbar sacral and coccygeal and among these lumbar is the largest one deltoid ridge is found in which of the following bone that is present in the humerus of the forelimb synovial fluid is secreted by synovial fluid is secreted by the synovial membrane so this is the correct option okay digital formula of foot of human is 2 3 3 3 3 and 4 threes this is the digital formula of human foot heaviest vertebra in man is heaviest vertebra is lumbar lumbar vertebra is heaviest vertebra a joint between humerus and radio ulna is it is a hinge joint this is the joint hinge joint demi facets present at these are present at thoracic vertebrae demi facets are present at thoracic vertebrae which of the following vertebrae are question is actually incomplete which of the following vertebrae are fused sacrum and coccyx sacrum is fused is a bone formed by the vertebra formed by the fusion of five bones and coccyx is the vertebra formed by the fusion of four bones the number of saddle joints in human beings actually on one side they are present three and on other side other three that is actually six are present in human body saddle joints presence of obturator foramen is a feature of it is a feature of rabbit obturator foramen is present in pelvic girdle pelvic girdle where the ischium and pubis fuse there presents the 
there uh, uh, occurs the foramen through which the nerves and also blood vessels pass. Vertebro arterial canal occurs in this occurs in cervical vertebrae vertebro arterial canal in human beings the second cervical vertebra helps in rotatory movements of head through knob like knob like process called the knob like process is called the odontoid process it aids in movement of the cervical vertebrae the other name for kneecap is it is patella patella is the other name for kneecap which of the following is the correct description of a certain part of a normal human skeleton first vertebra is axis which articulates with the occipital condyles this is wrong because uh, uh, not the axis it is the atlas the ninth and tenth pairs of ribs are called the floating ribs. No, eleventh and twelfth pairs are floating ribs. So it is also wrong. Correct statement ni kada observe jai manaru. Glenoid cavity is a depression to which the thigh bone articulates. Glenoid cavity according to the sacrum dagra. So not the thigh bone. Parietal bone of the temporal and the temporal bone of the skull are joined by fibrous joints. This is the correct answer. Parietal bone and the temporal bone of the skull are joined by fibrous joints. Usually, uh, the fibrous joints are like sutures. And gamu pete atikinchinatte anukunangada just kutlvesne to gamu pete atikinchinatto. This kind of joints are known as fibrous joints. They are present in the skull. Acromion process is characterized by characteristically found in the acromion process is found in the pectoral girdle of mammals. Pectoral girdle of mammals process acromion process acromion process is present in the uh, pectoral girdle. Pectoral girdle lo, e acromion process ane di untundi. Pectoral girdle, pectoral girdle lo, maniki so, clavicle scapula untai, especially scapula. The scapula consists of this acromion process. Okay, students, with this we have finished the worksheet part model 1 of the chapter in this worksheet we have seen various uh, multiple choice questions given based on joints bones vertebrae and even appendicular skeleton that is uh, um, four limbs hind limbs pectoral and pelvic girdles if we have a knowledge on entire skeletal system it helps us to score more in the examination so better you learn and revise well and try to answer number of times the repetition and the revision and the hard work will never go wrong that helps you in your success definitely you please listen, understand and revise well. Sometimes one time learning is not possible and one time listening and learning, understanding is not possible. At that time, in that situation, you should learn well. You should learn till you understand the concept that is repetition number of times if you read the concept number of times it helps you in uh, better understanding the concept as well as in better scoring all the best for your future all the best and 
learn well revise well and try to answer all the questions don't leave each uh, at least a one don't leave any bit try to answer all the bits right from simple to complex that helps you a lot just believe me the revision process will completely 100% will give you success and will uh, take you to the heights all the best dear students all the best all the best for your future examinations and your future bright future thank you